Hello, my name is Sika Chum, and I'm an executive coach and a corporate trainer with Self Search. This morning I spoke on refueling your vision. And I said refueling is when you put fuel into something in order to get it to continue to perform the function that it was performing. Okay, so you can refuel either by putting fuel into a completely empty tank, or you can refuel by topping it up, or can you, you can refuel by flushing out what was there, because what was there may not be good for the, for the engine. So I'll come to the word flushing out when I talk about how to refuel your vision. And vision is your preferred future, okay? Is that future you plan, that future that you imagine, that, and I call it a, a creative uh, visualization, that you imagine the kind of future you want to have, and that's really your vision, okay? It's planning your, your life, knowing where you want to be, that, that end goal, where you want to get to. Okay, now basically there are three simple, just to make it very simple for you, there are three ways in which you can refuel your vision. The first is what I talked about, to flash it out. Okay, many times you find that our experiences and the meaning we give to our experiences impact on our vision and our belief. Okay, I will explain. So if, for instance, the experience you had in life was that work is too hard, work is difficult, you cannot enjoy work, okay? So even when you are formulating your vision, in your mind is the fact that it's a tough thing, it's difficult. If your experience was that you talk too much, okay, the tendency is that the meaning you may have given to that may be negative and therefore will not fuel your ability to, to, to run with your vision. So the first process in, in refueling your vision is to first flash out flush out those experiences and the meaning you've given to them that sabotage your ability to fulfill your vision. So the first is to flush out, to, to first of all identify those experiences and what they've done to you and to flush them out by forming more empowering statements and more empowering beliefs around that thing. The second is to shift from means goals to end goals. Okay, many times when you ask people, what's your vision? They would say maybe I want to be a doctor or my vision is I want to get um, ten thousand dollars in my account that is an end that is a means goal okay it's not an ends goal and it, this is because we have been brought up to believe that when you even before you know who you are or you know uh, what you love you are asked to choose your career and to we, te we tend to think that our vision is a circulates around career or money but it doesn't and then the last thing i said was that if you are able to the last thing is to identify what kind of a person you should become in order to achieve the goals or the vision you have set and lastly if you are able to do this that is to refuel by flashing out by assessing your experiences and the meaning you've given to those experiences that are disempowering you and restating them if you are able to shift from means goals to ends goals and you're able to define the kind of person you should be in order to achieve your goal then you would be in a good position to refuel your vision and you will not become like i'm going to read a statement which i found really profound and i'm going to read it to you this would not become your portion and the statement is by james j lackard when he was talking about the most surprising thing about humanity and he said, and I quote, he said, man, he sacrifices his health in order to make money. Then he sacrifices money to recuperate his health. And then he is so anxious about the future that he, is, he does not enjoy the present. The result being that he does not live in the present or the future. He lives as if he will never die. And then he dies, having never really lived.